Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun, and here's your channel's TV morning news update for October the 10th, 2019. Just days after a lecturer in the University of Lagos, Dr. Boniface Benegu, was suspended over allegations of sexual harassment, another lecturer, Dr. Samuel Oladipo, has been suspended. Mr. Oladipo, who worked in the Department of Economics, was also captured in the documentary filmed secretly by the BBC, making sexual advances to the reporter, who had disguised as a 17-year-old student seeking admission. He is expected to face a panel set up by the university to investigate his alleged involvement in the Sex for Grades saga. The National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, has arrested over 95 core members for presenting fake certificates during the mobilization exercise. The Director General of the Corps, Brigadier General Shraib Ibrahim, made this known during the 2019 Batch C pre-mobilization workshop held in Mina, the Niger state capital. He says 65 of the culprits are from Nigerian universities, while 30 were from universities abroad. Meanwhile, the police in Kaduna State have paraded the suspected killer of a female naval officer at Armed Forces Command and Staff College Jaji, Air Commodore Olua Yemisi Ogundano. Until her death, Ogundano was the Commandant of Command Secondary School of the Armed Forces Command and Staff College. On the international scene, a police officer in Malawi has been killed during clashes with anti-government protesters in Sundwe, a trading outpost west of the capital city Lilongwe. A spokesperson of the police said Imedi had been stoned to death and killed by rioters and criminals. And in sports, Brazil superstar Neymar has received a special national team shirt with the number 100 on it to mark his upcoming 100th international cap. The 27-year-old is in the starting 11 for the international friendly match against the Taranga Lions of Senegal in Singapore. Brazil take on Senegal today before facing the Super Eagles of Nigeria on Sunday in Singapore as well as part of their 2019 global tour. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to join us later for the evening news recap. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun and thank you for watching.